Hey everyone, today I'm going to be attempting to grow a metal tree out of my own finger. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. I have here a solution that has tin ions in it. And what I'm going to do is add electrons to those tin ions so that they'll become metallic tin instead of ionic tin. So basically what will happen is they'll start forming metallic elemental tin. And as I add more and more electrons, that tin will grow and it will branch out. So let me show you how I do that in a normal situation. So to show you this reaction, first I'm just going to do some basic electrolysis. So I have a positive and a negative wire here, and I'm going to plug it in to two sides of this Petri dish that has this tin solution here. And then I'm going to turn on my power, and as I turn on my power, it's going to flow electrons through this circuit here. So this wire I'm going to call the cathode. The cathode just means that electrons are flowing down into the solution from the wire. So that's called the cathode. And where the cathode is, it's going to be feeding electrons into the solution around it. And those tin ions are going to receive those electrons and turn into metallic tin. And as it keeps receiving more and more electrons, the metallic tin is just going to keep growing around it. So basically from the cathode here, you're just going to see tin metal suddenly just start to grow out in these long thin branches, which is really cool. So my goal today is try to make my finger become the cathode and let the metallic tree grow out of my finger. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. But before I do that, first let me show you how cool this reaction just looks by itself. Okay, let's turn on our power. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at six volts. Let's turn up the voltage now. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it spreading from that one. Let's turn it up. I'm at 10 volts, 14 volts. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go to 20 volts now. That's so cool, look at it growing. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up as high voltage as I can go. 32 volts here. That might be too high, let's turn it back down to six volts and wait. And now I'm going to reverse the leads. Now these are called tin dendrites. Basically that just means this network of connected tin. And tin works well for this experiment because it's very pliable and it can form very long structures that won't break. So here's the tin metal that came out of this. 
Okay, so now let's see what it looks like under the microscope. So I'm going to be filming it as the crystal grows from one electrode to the other. Okay, now let's try to see what it looks like when I let it grow out of my finger. So I'm going to be hooking the wire to my finger and I'm going to be letting the electricity flow through the skin of my finger on the outside. I'll have it coated with some of the solution as well. So most of the, of the electricity will be going on the outer edge of my finger, but the goal is to let the metal grow out of my finger. Whoa, this is crazy. So I can kind of feel myself getting shocked a little bit. I'm at, I'm turned the voltage up here to around 15 volts. Whoa, it's doing it, it's growing from my finger. Look at that, I electroplated my finger. <laughs> Look at it moving down my finger. Now the reason this is safe for me now is because the electricity is not going through any path that would involve my heart or even my main nervous system at all. It's only going from the small path from my finger to the other side of the plate. And so basically the only thing that's going to happen is at most it can heat up my finger so I can burn myself a little bit. But basically I'll just slowly turn up the voltage and as I turn up the voltage it should start to grow more and more on my finger. started hurting. And what's neat about this solution is you don't technically even need a complete circuit to get these tin dendrites to form. You can actually do it by just putting some zinc in there because the zinc itself can give up electrons to the tin ions around it and make metallic tin form. So watch what happens when I put a little tiny ingot of zinc in there. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. And, and also you can check out my new book called Extreme Garage Science that has some of my favorite experiments from my channel that I put in book form. You can get that anywhere books are sold and I have a link in my description for the Amazon link as well. 
and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.